Ne yapıyorsun Leyla? Bardak kulaşmaya çalışıyorum. Hmm. Yardıma ihtiyacın var mı? Yapabilirim. Ah, oraya çıkmadan yapabilirsin. Yap bence. Biraz kaldırmaya çalışıyorum. Okay. Günaydın oğlum. Kıbrik. Hello ladies and gents, today is 12th of June and it's a very nice sunny day in lovely city of Toronto. As of today, I'm starting a new episode called Exploring Canada. So that's why we're gonna be exploring today some of the nice places in the city. Plus, we have just received the news from Amazon that our TV is arrived. So we're also gonna be, yeah, we're not gonna be do a box opening probably today, but we're gonna be definitely taking our TV from the concierge and, you know, carrying it to our house. And maybe we will be very excited and open the box at night, but we, do, we don't want to miss the sunny hot moments actually I am wearing a sweater right now but it's very hot I'm sweating our plan is to go to that Bloor Street and get that insurance thing done then it's prepared all the papers I'm gonna I'm planning to do a special episode about it you know like just like two three minute kind of video about how to receive your public insurance in Canada if you have permanent residency we need to go to that canadian tire store called service ontario in the downtown and afterwards we're probably cruising around walking to discover the beautiful city so stay tuned i think i'm gonna be able to manage it Ladies and gents, at last we have a TV. So, as of today, after we open this box, we're gonna be having a proper home. Right, Leila? Yeah. Leila missed the TV very much because probably uh, Leila is the only one watching TV every day. We don't, we're not against Leila watching TV actually. That's the, actually uh, the way how we let her speak English that fluently to be honest with you of course Denise also speak with her a lot I speak with her a lot but at the same time she's always watching English cartoons so she also speaking and understanding excellent English that's what you know what has been done through all these um, educational comics and educational TV shows we can find on Netflix so that's why this TV is really important I mean Denise and I can watch our precious series and whatever from the computer but it's better for her eyes to watch these tv shows on the tv in a big screen so that's why we got this beautiful tv how much did we pay for it Dennis? six hundred dollars we're gonna give detailed information about this product while we're gonna be doing a product review on samsung uhd tv 50 inches so right now uh, we're gonna be get prepared and then we're gonna go to the city center we are very excited about it
Now guys, we are very close to Chinatown. It's like in the back quarters actually to Chinatown. We changed the plans to service Ontario because Dennis accidentally lost my passport somehow and then all of a sudden she found it again in the place where she's stacking up all of her passports we, we've lost like 45 minutes searching my passport desperately in the house very it was a very stressful 45 minutes but actually she haven't I didn't lose she, it I yeah just, she hasn't lose it I she hasn't lose it yeah yeah anyways right now we are very close to the Chinatown area the plan is that just you know like walk around the streets and try to understand what this Chinatown is about and then probably we're gonna find somewhere nice to eat some kind of dinner that's the idea okay stay tuned before we are going out we're just like you know walking like crazy cows you know we don't know anything about the city so right now we're also hungry and the kids are hungry and Leila is always starting to be acting a little weird after 10 or 15 minute walk so that's why we decided to go to this cafe over there in Coin West it's called Queen Mother Cafe on 4th square it's like 8.4 I think we're not mistaken because while we are deciding our dinner location it's also important to choose a nice place which has uh, nice items in the menu which can be eatable by Leila and Leila doesn't like sauces doesn't like this and that she likes you know food as raw as it can be so let's go there really quick and you know have our food and at the same time I'm exploring where to walk next or what to do next in the city center of Toronto we are very really close by actually to our house it's a uh, subway just like 10-15 minutes so which is nice you know it's very lively right now it's rush hour there are a lot of people walking on the you know on the way there are also tourists as you can see walking at the same time with us it's a nice it's a nice city it's a very lively city there are a lot of nice locations but uh, I we are not sure which restaurants which places are the best with kids so this is our problem at the moment but as a bachelor or uh, just a couple there are lots of opportunities to do and there's a really nice statue over there actually check it out the statue is statue so or the statue where does all the
Leila here is getting um, salmon with some rice, but she's eating with hands. I don't know why. What you're having, baby? Red curry seafood hot pot, I think. And uh, this is my falafel. And that's the quinoa. And that's Embrebu. food and everything and also our amazing cakes but you know everything was great but the service was much better than everything there was our waiter she was very helpful and she was very kind so we really like this place I think we're gonna be coming here more often yes University and King. İyi, King'e yürüyoruz. Guys, it's seriously very weird that real accessible subway station entrance is a real important problem in Canada. We're in downtown, in the heart of the downtown, and you know, Osco uh, subway station has no real accessible, you know, elevators or whatever. So right now we decided to walk. The other station on the south it says that there is a wheel accessible elevators over there so that we're also gonna be seeing that University Avenue yeah we are kind of like exploring continue on exploring and at the same time looking a little bit to get that cheesecakes away you know that cakes the chocolate cakes we ate them all So folks, we have arrived home and put the kids to the bed directly and I also walk Jack. Right now we are home and we're gonna open this box here. That's our new TV. So that's the most important part of the home, I guess. But the girls over there are checking up for strollers because especially when we go to city and need to walk a lot, there is a big fight going on, especially Leila always demanding to be on the stroller because she's getting tired, obviously, because of walking too much. But sometimes Emre is asleep and we need to put him on the stroller. Otherwise, me or Denise need to carry him. So Denise is thinking to get a new stroller with possible to carry two kids at the same time. So right now girls are checking up some new strollers. So Denise explain, what are you looking for? And I'm looking for a double stroller where double I can stroller. seat the kids uh, back to back. Okay. Um, I need something with a large pocket in the at the bottom. 
Um, and something that's relatively cheap. Nothing comes for the moment. Nothing shows up on Amazon. I'm checking Best Buy and um, Baby Zoros as well. I yeah, I'm just looking for a double stroller. So whatever I go, nice I can put stroller. them both. And the other option is my sister-in-law has a, a Baby Jogger double, double stroller, a City Select. And it's a little bit old. Uh, it's about four years old and it needs a front wheel replacement as well. But if it's cheaper to like ship it from New York, then that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what we are doing at the moment. And then we're going to open this box over there. We need to, I think, pull it out. So this is our new console, very sexy. And these are the cables. This one is the legs. This is the leg for it. It's not a boomerang. Where are the legs gonna be? This TV. So as you can see, the Samsung is here. So it's upside down, which means that this TV gonna go right there over there. So this part gonna go. So guys, it's a typical turkey thing, right? I mean, you don't read the manual and just try to figure out yourself. So we couldn't figure out figure it out how to install that over there. We have two pieces actually. This piece probably <coughs> goes here somewhere, like right so, just like so. All right, and this will sit in here I guess like so and there's some uh, screws as you can see so probably Mr. Scott says here need to do again some assembly <laughs> okay what you're reading baby I, it doesn't tell me how to put the pieces together or I can't find it for some reason finally Mr. Scott says found the proper instruction so as you can see, these are the pieces, these are the box. So we haven't read that, so we kind of like did it wrongly. Put it on a table and then take these pieces, put it right there so, and then assemble it to the TV and then take it like so and plug it in. Dur. Şimdi öncelikle e, televizyonu yüzüstü bir şekilde şuraya yatıracağız. The first mission is accomplished with no harm. It's time to open this up. nice part living in Turkey you know in Turkey normally you just call your guys up and they do it for you and basically they just took like 50 there or something actually if you give 10 dollars they will do more <laughs> what's the next step this goes here right so so what are you doing now I'm organizing uh, the cables. Cables, yes, that's what I'm doing right now. And then, where is the Samsung cable? So we hooked it up right there, 
the electric cable is over there and the lights cable is gonna come from the back and it's gonna be mounted over there so yes I think we're good to go so I want it I want it I want that to be in reach so that you know we're gonna be able to plug it in and plug it out all the things and this Wi-Fi thing over there must be the yes the modem is big but it must be outside so that you know I, I don't want to put it put it in somewhere because you know it needs to be always in reach in everywhere in reach I think and unobstructed as well so yeah. it actually uh, is important we can actually receive the signal yeah yes right now it's time to take this TV and put it somewhere over there what else do you think give you a solution? That looks so freaking sexy. We need to put it in the sort of middle. Huh? No, you don't no there's. The um, we need a space for the light in the back. The light will stay like on the left side or the right side of the. On the right side? We don't want it Just to like be the... on the same level. Guys, Dennis has a right point of view right now. TV is like on the left and it's not even here. And it also bugs me out a little bit. What we can do, but the, you can, know we need the light on the right because in no here idea. we need lights and there are no other. There's no plugs over there, so that's why we cannot put the light over there somewhere. So that's why light must stay somewhere on the right. But this modem cannot go to the left because the modem's fiber net cable is over there and it's not that long. Now, guys, uh, my mom has a brilliant idea to put this light over my table over this dining slash my table kind of thing and right now we have light in here and look the tv is centered and look at that that's a very important detail here so yes we have a tv now yes yeah we have a tv now good job girls Guys, it's already 3 a.m. I finished the vlog and I'm gonna go to bed just for the sake of going a little bit early and we managed to do a lot of things today I guess it's a very productive vlogging day look at this amazing screen I don't know what's about with the screen but you know it really makes your home looks like a home right yes so I guess that was the last but most important piece so, our new home, you know, we're gonna be living here for uh, from now on. Plus, uh, today I'm starting a new episode called Exploring Canada. Tomorrow is Sarpil's last day, so we're gonna be exploring the city a little bit more. Then he's got some ideas, I got some ideas, we'll see what's gonna happen. Smile! <laughs> oh, take a deep breath and continue.